Hi there and welcome to day three of crafts. So if you haven't caught up on any of our most recent content, every day of crafts we are giving you a little bit of history about the breed groups that are being shown that day. So on today's agenda we have the toy and utility breeds which I am really really excited for. And I am joined by two very special guests. I am joined by Bam Bam, the long haired chihuahua who is representing the toy breeds. And I am joined by Harley, the miniature schnauzer who is representing the utility breeds. But first, let's talk about those toy dogs. The toy breeds are definitely tiny but mighty, and they are always the little rascals at crafts. These dogs were bred purely for companionship rather than for working, so their jobs were to keep royals and wealthy families happy and entertained, providing a bond for both the dog and the owner. No wonder these dogs look like cute little teddy bears. Their cousins came from larger gun dogs, but over the years they were bred smaller and smaller and cuter and cuter to make them perfect for home life and for travelling with. Appearance wise, I think it goes without saying that these dogs are definitely the smallest of crafts. And Bam Bam here is actually the smallest dog breed in the world, being a Chihuahua. They do, however, differ in coat types. So from your curly coated Bichon to your long haired Maltese to a short haired Chihuahua, they really do have a great range within this group. Instinctually, these dogs are not predatory. They were bred to be companions after all. However, some of them that are closely related to terriers may have a few of those instincts still creeping in. But because they were bred to create bonds, they tend to latch onto one person and can become protective over them. So just don't come after their best friend. But overall, they're very kind-hearted, gentle and social. But do the toy breeds perform big at crafts? So the toy breeds actually won the first ever crafts with a Pomeranian called the Sable Mite taking home the title of best champion. However, they have only won four times since then, making them one of the weaker groups in crafts. It actually wasn't until 1973 when they won again, when a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel called Alan Smear Aquarius took home the title for the group once more. They are actually one of the most recent winners in crafts, because a papillon called Planet Waves Forever Young Daydream Believers took home the title of Best in Show. But one of the most interesting things about this breed group is that none of the toy Best in Show winners have actually been of the same breed. And in fact, the most commonly entered dog breed into this group is the ever so royal Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. Now for the biggest mixed bag in crafts, it's a utility group. So the utility group is truly a diverse group because this is where all the breeds go if they can't be categorised into another breed group. They are often specialised in location or job type, making it hard for them to fit into one specific area within the breed groups. This group definitely has the most diverse range of characteristics because it all stems from their specialised jobs. Some of them had jobs such as running after carriages or running after fire trucks, others were used to guard barges and some of them were even used to attract ducks. But one of the standout breeds from this group is the ever so elegant Poodle, which was actually used as a water retrieving gun dog, which is why its breed standard trim was formed because it was used to make it more agile and protect its major organs from the cold, cold water. Again with their appearances, there's nothing really similar between all of these dogs. The only similarity within this group is that all of their cuts and coat types were designed to help them in their field of work. But do their cuts and coats help them at crafts? When it comes to crafts, the utility group lands in the middle of the pack, having 13 best in show wins throughout crafts history. In fact, the first winner from this group was in 1936, when a chow chow called Chunum Hong Kong took home the title of best in show. Unsurprisingly, the most popular winner of Best in Show from this group is the Standard Poodle, which has actually won four times for the group. And the Poodle is actually the second highest winner of Best in Show out of all of the dog breeds. In fact, the Poodle was the last Best in Show winner from the utility group, winning in 2014 with a black Standard Poodle called Afterglow Maverick Saver. Such a cool name, I know. But surprisingly, they aren't the most entered breed into the utility group. It's in fact the Bulldog. Who would have ever thought that the Bulldog would outdo the show dog? Now for today's deals. Every day of crafts, Christie's is offering a new set of deals. Get 30% off each of these three products that are suited to the utility and toy groups. First up, we have the Groom Professional Big and Beautiful Shampoo in 450ml. Do you want the ultimate volumizer? 
This shampoo is designed to fluff up and lift those curlier coated and double coated braids. This is great for the curly coated braids in the toy category and in the utility group this is fantastic for your poodles and also your double coated braids. Then we have the Groom Professional Medium Amplifier Brush in Firm or Soft. Our medium amplifier brushes are perfect for toy and small to medium braids. The firm slicker adds volume whilst removing pesky knots and tangles and the soft amplifier is great for fluffing up the coat after dematting. This is great for the soft or curly coated braids in both categories, creating volume with ease to get that show stopping finish. Finally we have the Groom Professional Wooden Poodle Comb. The Groom Professional Wooden Poodle Comb has been created to deal with the specific needs of the demanding thick long poodle coat. This comb features round stainless steel teeth with an amazing length of 6.5 centimetres which will not irritate the skin. This will be long enough to sit all puddle coats, top knots and all puddle cuts. Thanks for watching A History of the Toy and Utility Braids. I really hope you enjoyed this video and make sure you get on those days today because they will be ending tonight. But are you watching crafts at home? Let us know in the comments and also let us know if you're over there visiting. Thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!